welcome. It's Monday, the 28th of January, and weekends just don't last long enough. We need to make weekends last four days instead of two. Um, by the time Friday night rolls around and you're having a drink and uh, maybe go out for a meal, hang with some friends, if you wake up, maybe lunchtime on Saturday. Before you know it, the rest of the day is completely over, and then it's Sunday morning, bang. Sunday just flies by, doesn't it? I can hear police cars. Crap weather today. Crap weather for a Monday. I don't like it when Mondays start off all sort of overcast and grim. But that's the case that you have quite a lot in the UK. It's just one of those things. Right, let's get straight into it today. Uh, let me just bring up my uh, notes for today. There we go. Okay, so first site is at purl.com forward slash p-e-n-e-d-o it's about tiki bars johnny johnny uh i don't know if you know of a program or if you watch any internet television but there's one program that you should do a search for and that is tiki bar tv tiki bar tv was probably one of the reasons why i wanted to get into online video uh in terms of distribution anyway as far as transcoding and all the good stuff that is going on right now on the internet Tiki Bar TV is a very well produced, very well styled, very well shot, uh, great scripts, really funny, and obviously it's got booze invo involved, so any anywhere where you have a bar and booze, it's got to be good. And also they have an extreme hottie on there called La La, which just totally makes the whole thing, really. Uh, yeah, so I found this uh, today uh, on one of the, I think it was on Dig, dig.com. And uh, Johnny Johnny is one of the guys in Tiki Bar, and he's gone to um, he's gone to the Big Apple uh, in New York. I'm not sure how long he's there for, but uh, he was waiting on the L Station in Third Avenue in New York, and there was a 50 50 year old uh, lady who was just peering down onto the track, and she slipped, and uh, she fell six foot drop onto the platform, and Johnny just didn't think anything else about it and just went in there and you know jumped in there grabbed her pulled her back up uh, obviously with all these things in his mind about should he move her and whatever else or should he see her get crushed by a train uh, not a train a subway train and um, basically didn't even think about himself you know or getting electrocuted by what's called the third line and uh, pulled her out and the emergency team so team sorted it out so she's he's become a bloody hero and uh, props to Tiki Bar TV and Johnny Johnny and, you know, well done for, for not thinking and just getting in there and doing it. So that's one hell of a week to uh, move to uh, the US, I guess. Uh, just reading on this, uh, pop this story on to Dig. 3,000 digs later, uh, loads of comments. Co-work is giving fun pin that says, hooray for me, although it was very kind. But uh, awesome. Very awesome. Next uh, subject we're going to get onto is... A great video. Now, if you are, are under 18, I'm not condoning that you should go and see this. It's a, it's a bit of an adult nature to it, but I like it. It's extremely well put together. And uh, if you watch Planet Earth Tour, which is the, um, the BBC series with all the real beautiful HD shot footage of places around the world, uh, you'll sort of understand it, and I think you'll see the funny side of it. If you go to purl.com forward slash DVIPRT, you'll come to a site, um, basically a funny or die site, and it's fuck planet Earth. Excuse my, uh, you know, adult language. But um, it's, a, it's a remake, a short remake of planet Earth, and that's all I'm going to go and say. Go and have a look at it. Very cool. Very funny. Alrighty. Uh, next thing is at... I had to use tiny URL for this instead of PURL. We found a bug in PURL that was converting lowercase characters of a certain length to uppercase characters. So it's at tinyurl.com 29kzt5. And what this is is from the independent newspaper about climate change. Um, Britain will need 12,500 wind farms to satisfy EU targets. That's a shed load of uh, wind turbines. A rapid and vast expansion of renewable energy is on the way in Britain to help with the fight against climate change that was revealed yesterday. In a mere dozen years, uh, the amount of UK electricity generated by renewable technologies such as wind, wave and tidal power will have to reach nearly half the national total 
on their ambitious plans put forward by the European Commission in Brussels. The remarkable eight-fold expansion from today's 5% to about 40% by 2020 or even more represents a true energy revolution compared in scale to the arrival of North Sea oil. Most of it will have to be delivered by wind energy, especially offshore, as wind is the most developed technology available. The number of wind turbines uh, on land in Britain is likely to grow from just 2,000 now to 5,000. That's a hell of a lot of wind turbines. Uh, go and check that out. That's at, uh, that tiny URL link I will put back down there. Okay, next couple of things are security-focused ones, really. It's uh, from waffle.org, uh, web, security, web security blog. Uh, the first one is about uh, browser detection. They've come up with this really neat little script. You can get this at uh, purl.com forward slash cdance, C-E-D-A-C-E. And it's a, a tiny little... Um, you don't need JavaScript or any CSS hacks. You can do it all in. Um, you can do it all in uh, Perl. Uh, sorry, not in Perl. Uh, HTML2. You can put in a little. Yeah, you can put a little Perl script because most web servers are going to run this. And you can with an image. What they've done is for IE, Firefox, One, Two, Gecko, and loads of others. They can detect using that without any JavaScript what browser you're using, which is pretty cool shit. Uh, go and check that. Go and check that out. It's a nice way of detecting which browser people are coming in on. Okay, the other one for Waffle was regarding uh, this thing called Image Fight. Uh, it was recently discovered that uh, some picture files within them there's an attack code of PHP discovered on a major hosting site. The RFI attack of PHP code can be buried within a GIF, PNG, JPEG, and other picture files. Quite serious. Um, go and have a quick look at this. Um, this is at um, purl.com forward slash admini. Okay, next thing, uh, mydamnchannel.com. This is pretty darn cool as well. And the reason why I like this is because it's quite free form, it's quite you know relaxed in, in the nature of it. You can see this at purl.com forward slash comma, spelled K O M M A. And it's uh, my Photoshop. You suck at Photoshop. And he does a whole series about why you suck at Photoshop, but he's really relaxed, really sort of like, you know, do this and do this, and this is how you do a mask on this, and this is how you take away, you know, uh, pat, put paths on stuff. And if you if you do suck at Photoshop or you do want to enhance yourself at Photoshop, go and check that out. Really cool little site. Uh, next one, next little site I like is uh, Grasper, G-R-A-S-P-R dot com. How-to videos on crafts, cooking, health, fitness, home, garden, sports, and more. There's a similar one to this, and there's quite a few of these popping up now. I think people are realizing how useful video is going to be as far as headcount in terms of eyeballs coming to the site instead of text, text ads and stuff. A lot of people are watching video content online after turning their television sets off. Okay, another uh, company that realizes this and starting to pull together all the web programming that people are starting to do is Crackle, crackle.com. Uh, they've got a reasonably nice site. It's a bit heavy on the um, bit heavy on the the layout in terms of it's not as smooth as it could be, but they've got some great uh, great great um, businesses on there. Uh, great uh, homegrown productions on there. Uh, they've got a goodie bag on there. They've got sports, daily jokes, screen bites, family friendly, travel extreme. Uh, I still think the interface can be done a lot better, but uh, good. Yeah, very good. Next thing I want to talk about is um, a friend of mine who I met on Operator 11, operator11.com, a video conferencing broadcasting site. They've moved now to do another show. They're still using Operator 11 uh, over on the morningmix.ning.com. Uh, go and check um, uh, Yogi Fish out. He does a great little show every day uh, where they talk about a variety of topics and people can chime in on the chat and see, you know, put your opinion in. There's a whole breed of new video streaming sites that are coming out there that uh, I'd recommend to anybody go and have a look at. Uh, next thing as well is Everix, E-V-E-R-E-X dot com. Uh, you've seen these little MacBook Airs and uh, the little Asus uh, EEPC. Well, Everix have got a, a, a thing called a, they're calling it Think Cloudbook, which is uh, ultimate in mobility. Nine inches, two pounds in weight, Five hours of battery life, surf, email, blog, IM, Skype, compute, cloud computing makes it easy and it makes it simple and easy for everyone. Uh, based on the latest GOS uh, rocket system, three nine nine dollars, not bad a price. Check that out. So that's it for today. I'll be back tomorrow, and uh, I'll have a whole new suite of other stuff to go through.
Thanks. See you later.